Well, continuing concerns from the water crisis, that is our top story tonight. Impacts of this water crisis do continue to be felt in so many ways. Charles and Mayor Danny Jones has not stopped voicing his concerns about the long range problems the crisis will present to the entire area with businesses and people maybe not wanting to come here. Eyewitness News reporter Katie Brown's live here in our studio and Katie, we're approaching spring home buying season. So are realtors getting worried about this? Karen, for more than a month, thousands of people have dealt with this water crisis, many expressing so much frustration they've said they are ready to move out. But the good news, at least for now, it appears just as many people are ready to move in. Since the water crisis started, we've heard concerns like this. I can't confidently raise my family here. Should we even stay in this area? But at least so far, the real estate market hasn't seen much of a change. In fact, this winter has seen an increase in people interested in buying a home, even despite the water crisis. The past eight weeks has actually been better than these eight weeks in 2013. We've seen home prices go from 120,000 up to 131,000. There is one thing that has changed. While potential home buyers are always asking a lot of questions, a new one realtors are getting asked more these days is who provides the water. Even still, it doesn't seem to be changing people's perceptions about making a move. They do ask questions, but it has not stopped them. If I say it's American water, it does not change their mind about the house. But some people in Charleston say the water crisis has definitely changed their mindset. I would want to know what I was drinking. They keep tasting it. They keep finding stuff in it. We're actually getting used to the fact that, you know, we got to drink bottled water and brush our teeth with bottled water and things like that. So, I mean, it's just everyday life now. When it comes to home buying, though, some things don't change. Real estate agents like Hicks say people usually move into new homes to be closer to work or schools. And so far, those decisions are being impacted by the problems with the water. There's only been one who said that, and he lives out in um, Cabell County. But nobody, I've not heard a single person in Canal or Putnam County say that they're going to be moving because of the water issues. As for Jason Vance, he plans to stay put and thinks most people will too. I don't think anybody's going to leave because of it because, I mean, we're West Virginia. And, you know, we, we can handle just about anything. Hicks says there have been other things that have affected the local housing market in the past, like flooding. But at least right now, this water crisis doesn't seem to have a negative impact on home buying or selling. Reporting live in the studio, Katie Brown, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Katie. And now we'd like to know what you think. Are you considering possibly moving because of the water crisis? Tell us what you think. Stop by our Facebook page to join in on the conversation.